Speculators scrambling this weekend to shore up a fragile banking system, taking several historic steps. The question is whether they succeeded. The failure Friday of Silicon Valley Bank, the second largest failure in U.S. banking history, and what some would call the first bank run in the digital age. People are very good at manipulating the press these days and getting news out. So every day, you know, you have CNBC nonstop Bitcoin. Who cares about Bitcoin? The Securities and Exchange Commission regulate the payment system or securities? Uh, clearly securities. Always assumed that Bitcoin was a prototype. The thing to understand about the central bankers and, and the group of people, not so much the central bankers, but the people who own them, is they are very disciplined about prototyping. When they want to try something new, they, they generate lots of different experiments. So when I you take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. If you got a bag, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more Moon and Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra foolishness. Shout out to the latest sub. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead, throw on those moon suits and those pilot shades. Buckle up. It's the futures, extra, extra foolish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We've got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today back over a trillion, right around 1.13 trillion, up about 15.7% in the past 24 hours. We got XRP here in the number six spot, up about 8.4 in the past 24, right around 38 cents. We got Stellar XLM, right around eight and a half cents, up about 8.6 in the past 24. BTC 24,462, ETH right around 17 hundo. We got Flare Networks here in the number 110 spot, right around three cents, up 8.0. And we got Songbird here, 0 0.00829, up about 5% in the past 24. Joe Katz, Brad has made a brief statement on Twitter summarizing Ripple's exposure to SVB. Brad said they did have some exposure. It was a banking partner and held some of our cash balances. Fortunately, we expect no disruption to our day-to-day -day business and already held a majority of our USD with a broader network of bank partners, big banks only. Brad also says, but rest assured, Ripple remains in a strong financial position. He says it's ironic that so much of what's happening as some companies scramble to make payroll highlights how broken our financial systems still are. An example, wires are still not 24-7, 365. Boomers led to collapse and then frictions of moving money with a deeply fragmented system. Where did they get a hold of that old on-demand liquidity? Squawk Box CNBC, banking regulators step in to backstop depositors who couldn't access their money amid the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. The Federal Reserve also providing a separate loan facility to safeguard institutions to prevent further contagion. Regulators scrambling this weekend to shore up a fragile banking system, taking several historic steps. steps. The question is whether they succeeded. The failure Friday of Silicon Valley Bank, the second largest failure in U.S. banking history, and what some would call the first bank run in the digital age, created the risk of a broader run on small banks throughout the country, and that companies with their money in SVB wouldn't be able to open up this morning, make payroll, and otherwise operate. Looks like now as if none of that is going to happen. In response to all this, officials over the weekend guaranteed deposits at SVB, shut down Signature Bank, a small crypto-related bank here in New York, guaranteed all uninsured deposits around the country for, I believe, the second time in 20 years, created a new fund to finance bank assets at the Federal Reserve and ease lending standards at the Federal Reserve's emergency discount window. Officials said they took these steps to avert a situation where uninsured depositors would pull their money from essentially healthy banks and all the nation's deposits ended up in big banks. They insisted the bank system is strong and there do not appear to be major problems with bank assets throughout the country. Uh, their holdings of treasury and mortgage-backed securities seem to be money good. The main problem, rates are up, bond prices are down, and that uh, creates large unrealized losses on the books of the banks. But not much default risk, which distinguishes it from the great financial crisis. Right. Another major issue, how is this going to all affect Fed policy? The market is on the move this morning. Now a, wow, I didn't see this, 38% chance, it was 28 when I looked at it last, that the Fed does nothing next. The old system must fall before the new one can be implemented. First, they got to shake out the weak hands before they flip that crypto switch. Okay, and Long says the big four U.S. banks just got a $210 billion Fed bailout. How Fed's new BTFP facility allows banks to borrow against the negative collateral value shown on the graph. AT par, instead of at a market value, the big four have $210 billion of these losses. Banks are 
Fallon, watch out for the XRP Phoenix to rise in the burning dollars. While the U.S. banks are fouling, U.S. banks are provided with interest-free money by the U.S. Gov, Fed, for years to prop up the stock market and to buy government bonds. The undocumented rule is that those banks which buy more government bonds to get preferential treatment to access free money. The U.S. banking system has become a tool for the U.S. government to create the illusion of a strong economy by pumping the markets with the government-printed money and using banks to raise more debt. It only works for a limited time because the more money is printed, the higher inflation rises. When inflation's got out of control, the U.S. government Fed had to stop the interest free flow of printed money to the U.S. banks and increased interest rates. Banks, which got used to making big profits by manipulating the market with free government money, started to struggle with the regular fix. In my opinion, the U.S. financial sector is in a terrible shape. The U.S. markets are highly manipulated. U.S. government bonds are now considered a toxic asset with international demand drying up and the future outlook for the U.S. economy. Could it be more dire? The total collapse is inevitable. Meanwhile, the U.S. debt clock is no longer showing the Federal Reserve note. It is now the U.S. Treasury dollar, dollar to gold, and silver still at zero. The Truth XRP, Jamie Dimon governments will crush Bitcoin, Bitcoin in total, $50 billion in trades a day. Remember this video when they blame this collapse on crypto? Only value of a Bitcoin is what the other guy will pay for. And I think, honestly, I think there's a good chance that Bitcoin, a lot of the buyers out there are up there jazzing up every day so that maybe you'll buy it too and take them out. And I, I quite mean that, by the way. You know, these, these people are very good at manipulating the press these days and getting news out. And so every day, you know, you have CNBC, nonstop Bitcoin. Who cares about Bitcoin? I mean, you know, the, the, the world's economy is so big. We move, JP World alone, these companies, six trillion dollars. We move all this money. And Bitcoin in total is, 50, all these currencies are 50 billion dollars, maybe a billion dollar trades a day. And, and the other thing I've always made about Bitcoin, governments, and this is not a technological statement, governments are going to crush it one day. Governments like to know where the money is, who has it, and what you're doing with it. And you, in case you haven't noticed, okay? Bitcoin's growth may be short-lived if this resistance point is breached. Meanwhile, we got the far superior technology hidden in plain sight, the second coming of the internet. First, we had the internet of information. Now, welcome to the internet of value. 916 million XRP moved by Ripple as third crypto-friendly bank crashes. Know what you hold? John Dean says again, what is Yellen's definition of a bailout? Shareholders and investors go to zero, but depositors receive all their funds over the 250K amount. Does that qualify as a bailout? Crypto Eddie Congressman Warren Davison speaking at the hearing entitled Coincidence or Coordinated the Administration's Attack on the Digital Assets Ecosystem on Thursday. Does the SEC Gov regulate payment systems or securities? I, I, I just um, would ask Professor Evans, does the Securities and Exchange Commission regulate the payment system or securities? Uh, clearly securities. Yep, thank you. And, uh, you know, the legal clarity that we're seeking, frankly, wants to make sure that investors, innovators, and regulators like Chairman Gary Gensler also know that the Securities and Exchange Commission doesn't regulate the payment system. Get those jumpsuits, get those jail cells ready. Corruption must be held accountable. Gary, you still there? XRP Crypto Web says XRP fixes banks, so it should be pumping the hardest. What is it about crypto that you don't understand? Former United States Assistant Secretary Catherine Austin Fitz. Always assumed that Bitcoin was a prototype. The thing to understand about the central bankers and, and the group of people, not so much the central bankers, but the people who own them, is they are very disciplined about prototyping. When they want to try something new, they, they generate lots of different experiments. So when I used to work on Wall Street, you know, Salman Brothers was one of the ones that was famous. If they wanted to figure something out, they'd tell 10 teams to go do it. And they wouldn't tell any of the teams about the other teams. <laughs> you know, and so you'd get this huge competition and war within the firm of 10 teams trying to do this thing. And they figured, OK, one will figure it out. So if you look at the venture capital model, um, you will see in a venture capital fund, they figure out of 30 investments, maybe two will make money, but they will make enough money to make the whole thing highly profitable. Because of the monetary policy, they ran the risks of inflation. So the question is, how can we suck a huge amount of money into non-real assets? They're, they're accumulating land, they're accumulating gold. After the, they came out of the financial crisis and we're steadily moving money, I believe, out of the fixed income markets trying to buy up the real assets. So how do you keep the retail market away from competing with you to buy up the real assets? Well, if you can get them off in Bitcoin and the cryptos, you know, you're just creating an asset out of thin air, right? Yes. I mean, it's energy expensive, but it's thin air. So, so 
It's much easier. It was extremely important to manage and manipulate the gold market because gold's like the smoke alarm. So you want to keep the smoke alarm from going off. If you can get everybody out of gold and into Bitcoin, it gives you a much more long ramp to sort of accumulate all the real assets without anybody figuring out. And then what, what do you think they'll they'll have it run up and then then crash it or just kind of let it run parallel? So I think Bitcoin's been pumping and dumping, you know, and you know, so think of it as a in a bull market, you you pump and dump your way up. Because remember the the people transacting make the most money from volatility. Right. So when the stock market dropped thirty five percent last year, you know, that's a great opportunity to buy and then run it back up. So remember, if you're going to build your control system, then you need to build a system of central bank digital currencies. And you don't want to do that until you've had sufficient prototyping, but you've also made digital currency fashionable. Okay. And, and to do that, I mean, you can go out and hire all the top developers in the world, but if you just persuade them, they can make lots of money and be free if they do it themselves. You know, and you make it very fun and innovative like the Wild West, they all jump in and they figure and prototype all these things for you. So it's the platform, then you then build your central bank digital currency system, which now they're working on rolling out. Once you you kind of gotten different aspects of the blockchain and the energy use figured out. Now, part of this is the smart grid because you need to get everybody onto electrical systems for this to work, right? Vaccine passports will make you free. Crypto will make you free. This will all make you free. And then you get them building your prison for you, right? Because you can't remember, we're talking about a system where very, very few pe people have central control. The guys who are going to have central control can't build that. They've got to get the general population to build their own prison. Bitcoin was just a prototype. Meanwhile, quietly in the background, XRP up and running, being tested for about 10 plus years. All ledgers closed since inception. Faster, cheaper, more efficient, eco-friendly. No more middlemans. Interoperability. Know what you hold. The Expector Metaverse is a vast universe full of hidden treasures and endless wonders waiting to be discovered. You can own a piece of this world right now. Land sale is now live and the Opal parcels are now sold out. The Expector pre-sale land continues to sell fast. Get your limited discount pre-sale land today. Before it's all gone, we'll see you inside the Expector Metaverse. Short or FOMO says expect it to be lit up like x tree all day. Volumes in five minute window have been above 20 to 30 million all morning. Egrat Crypto, the Blue Triangle official bull run update, refer to the 9th of March 2023 post. With all this gloom and doom, XRP is still ranging within the behemoth symmetrical triangle. We are reaching the point of no return. A breakout is coming. Grow men will weep. Some will be left behind. Some will be melted away. The show's almost over. Alex Cobb says 100 billion XRP divided by the total world's population is only about 12 and a half XRP per person. Let that sink in. As a historical wallet count continues to climb to almost 5 million wallets, currently 4,604,506. The longer they take, the higher we climb on that XRP rich list. Top 10% holder, 3,240 XRP. Top 1% holder, 69,395 XRP. Where will you fall on that XRP rich list when all the glitches finally go live? We'll catch you up here at the tippy top. I am the XRP Bagman, the Moon Commander. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more Moon O'Clock news. Hope to catch you in the next one. Continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. A lot of FUD, a lot of gloom, a lot of doom. But we do know that XRP is the far superior technology. So load up while you still have some time and we'll catch you in Vegas for the pre-moon party. Peace out, Crypto Ghost. Yeah, what you think? The revolution will be televised on Jungle Inc. Let me move it on the ledger really fast, really fast. Let me go ahead and get my last bag, last bag. I can buy up the dip when it crash. TC was first, now was last. Custom transactions always lag. And I don't want to get Naga mad. He might go and demote bags like he demoted Brad.